What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This client paid me $75 to transform his haircut. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button and just give this video a like. Let's jump straight into it. I'm not sure if you guys recognize this client. He has been on the channel before. As you can see, he got the long hair. I think this might be like eight or nine months of hair growth, maybe even a year. Um, we're just gonna cut it with scissors though. We're gonna do a blunt cut and then basically just blend the sides and the back end. And as you can see, my thumb does not fit in these scissors. So the way I'm holding my scissors is not how you should hold it. This isn't how you do it. But unfortunately, I ordered the wrong size of scissors, so I'm stuck with these ones. I do have another one, but my fingers are just fat, as you guys saw from the freeze frame. But we're just following that guideline. You just want to make one blunt cut where you want the hair to be at the level and then just follow it all around. Um, kind of drop it towards the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend this into the guard work. So once it's all blunt cut, it should look like that. And then I basically use my six guard just to scoop out and we're going to do it again right here. So we're going to start the low taper. It's kind of like a low mid taper. He wants the C cups. So this is where I grab my six guard and I kind of just scoop out. Um, and it's pretty much just going to blend in. I don't, I didn't even use a lot of guards to do this taper. Um, if you guys watch closely, it's going to be very, very simple. The key is to just scoop out with this type of hair. Um, you may need to use your thinning shears or even your uh, shear over comb. But for me, I just needed my guard on this. So I'm kind of digging in right now and scooping out at the bottom. And then I go in with my lever open. I'm going up about a half inch. And then under that, I just erase it. So how I erase it is I close my lever and then I open it up gradually. Same thing with the one, but we're going to skip the two guard, the one and a half guard. We're going to skip all that. You don't need that. Just scoop out. Literally have a scoop motion with your wrist right under that. We're going to close our lever and grab our half guard. And this is how you simply do a taper without all that extra mess. Um, we started halfway and now we're gradually closing. But notice how I'm using them in the corner. And then I switch to my no guard. I switch clippers just because this one kind of is better with detailing. Now, I do recommend freehanding just a little bit just to get some of that bulk. Um, since we didn't use any higher guards and I'm just using my corner just to erase the line without using all that extra guard stuff and now we're going to go ahead and do like a rough draft of the lineup the lineup is the most difficult part on haircuts like this because you have to sculpt it um, on this specific section it's easier because the c-cup area is short but everywhere else is going to be very difficult. Same thing with the lineup around the ear. Um, I'm curving it, but I'm not trying to take it in too much. Now, it's easier on this specific section because the hair is shorter. Because remember, we scooped it out with the six guard. But when we go around his ear, it's going to be a little more difficult because you're dealing with long hair basically just long straight stubborn hair right now i'm just detailing the taper a little bit before we move on to our next step i'm not going to show the back taper and side taper i did the same steps for this so i switched to my stylecraft trimmers if you guys want to buy these trimmers or any other stylecraft products just use my code the fourth ken and you can get i think it's like 10 percent off so take advantage of the discount. Yes, sir. Now, as you can see, I'm using the side of my blade, the corner, and I'm like dragging it. I have these set kind of dull so I can press hard and drag. And with hair like this, the key isn't to tap, tap. You kind of have to like sculpt. You got to draw with the, with the trimmer blade. You have to curve and carve out your lining. You know, with short hair, you, you tap tap but with long hair like this you gotta carve and sculpt so as you can see i'm in my zone i'm in my bag try and get it right same thing with this side 
He has calyx in the back of his neck, which makes the neckline a little difficult. But right here, still managed to get it nice and smooth. So once again, we just sculpted that with the clipper now since he did have the middle part i already knew the middle of his hair was still gonna have that like split in it and i explained it to him and he was like yeah it's cool he didn't even really want a super super sharp line because you know he's been rocking this style for a while and i told him we should kind of like use some sea salt spray just to make it look rough a little bit up top instead of just that blunt edgar cut type cut you know so he agreed and he was he was fine with the the split because i explained it to him it was you know his hair was trained that way since he grew it out um he did text me the day after his appointment he told me he loved the cut and he said the split went away um and that he's gonna be back i'll show it on the screen um but yeah for the lineup this part you can kind of tap you don't have to drag i'm just tapping the long hair you're gonna have to comb it down repeatedly i didn't show it but you're just gonna have to keep combing it down it's gonna get annoying eventually you're just gonna have to get it as sharp as possible and then just move on because with hair like this and especially since it's so long it's so stubborn and it's just it's difficult to cut with trimmers i see a lot of people shape it up with just some scissors or something but unfortunately my thumbs don't fit so if you guys got a thick pair of scissors that you guys recommend a brand that can fit my thumbs because my thumbs are huge as you guys saw please link them down below i'm gonna be checking the comments hook me up and i added a little bit of enhancements just on the c cup nowhere else um i didn't get a chance to show it i wish i should have right now i'm just taking my shears and i'm like kind of like point cutting those overhang hairs This is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. We're gonna spray some uh, sea salt spray just to add a little bit of texture in it. Let's check it out from another angle. This is the other side. Yeah, he's in there. Nice little texture on top. If you like the vid, leave a like. I'm out, peace.